you. And so we feel deeply in our hearts what has happened to you. We feel grief, we feel injustice, we feel anger, and we share that with you. My immediate concerns are twofold. You want your loved ones back. Yes. And I know that there are religious considerations with their burial. Of and that is top of our minds, and it has been from the moment that this occurred, it was one of the first things that I asked. One of the issues that we have had is within the mosques, we had to ensure that it was safe to be able to retrieve those who had fallen within it. And once the police have been able to do that, they then have started the removal and identification of your loved ones. Of course, they want to do that as quickly as they can. We have here representatives who are our liaison officers with your communities. They know all too well the pressing need for us to move as quickly as possible. Uh, they have shared with me their hope that they can give you more information uh, within the next hour. Their hope is that all bodies will be removed by the end of the day. Uh, that is what they are working very hard on. But if you don't mind, I'll ask that the police are the ones, because they have the contact directly with those inside the mosques, who will continue to provide that information throughout the rest of the afternoon. But please be assured, we know how important this is to you. We are doing everything that we can. My second consideration is your safety. That you have safe places of worship. That you can feel safe in your worship. The Christchurch City Council is uh, is here and available to try and ensure that you have the facilities available to continue your worship. We're also working alongside the police. They have made a decision to continue to have an armed presence outside mosques around New Zealand, and that will continue for the near future. But you need to feel safe beyond that. And so we will work with the police and alongside your community leaders to make sure that you have 